okay guys welcome to the channel once again it's your boy bravo so uh this is something huge i'm about to announce so basically paul has implemented multi inputs to neon meaning now you don't need to insert million on every track you want to record when you want to record a track all you need to do is create a single track for example let's go in and create an audio track right go in the effects section and choose neon as an effect right so let's go in and bring up neon if i can find it in here there you go so you load neon as an insert and then choose you uh go to the side chain section in cubases right and then choose for example track number three right and then over here on the record section you long tap on record and then down where it says record channel right you tap on that and then you choose side so basically what is going to happen is obviously put this in in pre so that the volumes i don't know i like it in pre anyway you can do it in post or pre anyway uh put this in pre and now if i enable record wait a second obviously you need to sync the project if i enable record just a second if i enable record and play right um neon is going to record from this track have a look Okay, so now if I take the sync off and play. Come on, that's crazy. And this is on track number. Oh no, this is okay. This is on track number eight, as you can see, and I was able to record track number three. So now meaning you can just load a single track and record any of the tracks you have in Cubases with just one single track, saving on CPU, and you don't have to uh insert neon in every track you want to record, like it's crazy that is crazy so the other way to use the sidechain uh, effect is for example um let me go in and choose my drum track as the sidechain input right as you can see there's uh there's a dock icon here if i long tap on that it it opens up the sidechain the compressor let's say this is for the monitor and this is where you choose your inputs which you want to monitor so in this case i'm going to choose you know you just need to tap on this right so just tap to toggle the input. So in this case, as you can see, it's input B side and I can monitor it, right? So during playback, uh, what is playing in Neon is going to be docking down, is going to be docking um, just like, like a normal sidechain works, right? So. Yeah, so that was a bit extreme, but you do get the idea. So basically, anything you have playing in Neon is going to be ducking down, uh, following obviously your your what you call your sidechain inputs, right, and whatever parameters you choose in the compressor. So yeah, and another feature, woof, <laughs> you guys, you don't know what is mission. Anyway, if you tap on uh, show files, right, there's a new icon which is the movie, right. So now I can tap on this, for example, extract audio, right? And this should open up your, um, what's it called? Um, the photos album, right? You can go in and choose a video you want to, right? So for example, let's actually, let's choose this. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, let's choose this, for example. So as you can see, it's just comp compressing video over here. It's, it's ex extracting the audio from the video once it's done. There's a nice, uh, what's it called? How do you call that? Uh, status bar, let's say, advanced bar, whatever the case is. Anyway, you can see it's progress bar, actually. Yeah. You can see the nice progress bar going down there. And once it's done, I'll fast forward this section anyway. Okay, so now once that is done, it, it will ask you to give it a name, right? So I'm just going to call it... Um, over right and import you tap on import right and as you can say it says um file save blah 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 to the export tab remember that's where it saves it in the export tab so if i tap on okay and go to the export export file that is my file right here now uh the nice thing is obviously now you can bring it in right let it load so this is my old let me turn this take the sync off okay okay everybody welcome to the channel once again okay 
So this is the audio file. Okay, okay, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Right. I can go in and add, for example, um, let's long tap on this. Let's add a filter, for example. I don't know what it's going to sound like. I'm just trying to think. Let's see what it's going to. Okay, once it's done, let me play this back. Okay, okay, everybody. Welcome to the Let me get rid of this. Go in, um, save, right? And call it Rover, right? Save this. And this is going to be saved in the audio pool, right? So now if I tap on this, right? And I tap on movie, attach, and I choose my video, and then tap on use. So basically, so now it's going to attach the audio to the video. And once it's done doing that, it's going to create a new video by itself with the new audio. Like, that's mind blowing. <laughs> that's crazy. So once you finish doing your edits in Luma Fusion, like you, you, you can even don't, not worry about the audio itself. Just do your video editing, save the video to your, um, to your photos application, come into Neon, grab the audio, extract the audio, do some editing, click on the video thing again, and then you can attach the audio to your video. And then it's going, it's going to create a new video, obviously. So then you have a copy. You have the old video and you have the new video with the new audio. Like, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. That is crazy. Oh, man. Okay. So now if I go into my files, if I can find the photos, right? As you can see, I have two videos of the same length. This is the old video and this is the new video. So should I play this video for you? You're going to hear the audio bits. Welcome to the channel once again. It's your boy Bravo. So, uh, <laughs> I'm a bit... So that's mind blowing guys. That's crazy. Oh yeah. It tells you movie saved. Uh, a new movie has been saved to your camera roll. I forgot to mention that. You can see that's crazy. So, you, uh, and one more thing, guys. You know, previously, if you had like a loop uh, section, if you had a loop, for example, let's play this a second. Okay, let's select this section and loop it and then uh, enable warp. During playback, if you change the, the uh, tempo in Cubasis, you'd have to manually adjust the, the loop point. But now everything does it does everything automatically. So if I play, tap on sync and play. So if I change the tempo, let's say to so from 145 to 114. Now it's gonna. As you can see, the the sample length has just in. The, the loop points and the sample are still the same, intact. So yeah, that's about it, guys. Then, uh, pa, 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 what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, mm, 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 mm. yeah, that's all. So stay safe.